What's up, historians? This is History with me, Ms. G, and this video is all about what I want you to do with the guided notes on edgenuity this school year. Let's check it out. Here is what guided notes look like. They're an outline of the entire lesson. And the first thing I want you to decide is, are you gonna learn better by using the blank guided notes that you see here? Or are you gonna learn better by using the filled out guided notes? It doesn't matter to me which ones you use as long as you're using this resource in some way. So decide for yourself as a learner, do you wanna fill these out as you learn and go through each instructional video? Or are you going to take notes and annotate something that's already completed and filled out for you? Decide that now, please. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Some of you might think those edgenuity videos are really long and kind of boring. If that's something you think, it's okay. I don't blame you. If that's you though, I think you should pick the empty or blank guided notes because it's gonna help you stay engaged by filling those notes out while you watch the instructional videos. If that's a lot for you though, navigating between the two videos, then pick the completed guided notes and you can highlight and annotate while you watch the video. Please decide based on your learning style. It's okay to switch it up and try different ways of doing it all throughout the course. It's up to you. All right, you've decided if you're gonna use the blank guided notes or the filled out guided notes. Now I'm gonna show you where to go to access these. Let's start first with the blank guided notes. When you're at your Edgenuity course map, so I've clicked into US history, this is our course, you're gonna see blue bars that are the title of each instruction or each lesson. Next to the title is a symbol for the guided notes. When you click that, it'll open up a separate tab. This is a PDF of the guided notes. These are always gonna be blank when you access them this way. If you chose the filled out guided notes, this version, I've uploaded all of those for you on Teams. And when you're at the general channel, you're gonna see tabs and you'll find guided notes at the top. This is a Word document or a PDF that I've uploaded and it's going to have the list of all the filled out guided notes for the whole course, semester one. Click. Potentially, if nothing pops up for you, if nothing happens, it's probably already open on your internet browser. So it opened up for me here. If it's not working for any reason, just email me or come to a help session and I'll help you find whatever you need. At this point in the video, you should know the difference between filled out and blank guided notes. You should know where to access both of those. And this last portion of the video is going to show you something very important, which is how to save and make sure you don't delete all of the work that you do by filling them out or annotating them. I want you to pretend that you have watched the instructional video and you filled out your notes and annotated them. And now you're at the point where you're ready to save. If I just exited out of my tab, it would delete everything that you just filled out or annotated. It doesn't matter if you did the completed guided notes or the filled out guided notes. If you make any edits to them, you have to save. Click save. I recommend changing the title because that's a lot of random words and letters. So we're gonna call it 1.1, a new, new revolution. And I have a US history folder and I've created an annotated notes folder within that. If you don't have something like this, you just hit new folder and title it whatever you want. And voila, I can officially exit out of my guided notes, go to my files, go to US history, annotated notes. And here's my document that I made edits to. Let's say I go back and I continue to fill out my guided notes because I'm not done yet. When I make changes or updates, I have to save again. Like this, it already gives me the title that I created, save. It says it already exists, but I've made updates to it and I've kept the title the same. So yes, I wanna replace it. This is just updating it to my new version that I updated. And that's it. If you just watched this whole video, I'm really proud of you. Give yourself a pat on the back for taking charge of your own learning. Remember, you need to pick which type of guided notes you're gonna use, filled out or blank. You're gonna make sure that you annotate them and save them properly. Thanks for watching and see you next time.